Hey guys, I have gotten a lot of requests to do a bun tutorial. So it's just gonna be how I do my messy bun. I usually start off when I'm doing my bun to do a dry shampoo. It's called Batiste. So this one works really well. So I always start first, uh, when I'm gonna do an updo, I spray my roots and I work it in and I really just to give it some texture. And I spray my roots, put my hair upside down and do the same. Just work it in. Then I take a brush and I make sure everything's brushed back. You don't want tangles. It's all brushed, I have some volume. And now I'm gonna start by putting it up in a ponytail. I usually use a hair colored elastic. So this is just the goody one. It doesn't snap and pull your hair. So I'm gonna just flip my hair upside down, take my brush and I'm gonna just brush it smooth. And I like to do a very high ponytail, but you can do this any way you like. And then I look forward and I make sure that it's smooth. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna pull it out to loosen it up. A little bit over the top of my head. I don't want it super tight though. So I just wrap it twice, I have thick hair. And then I take pieces and I pull it out up at the top. Next, this is a big trick I do and I'm gonna show it to you both ways with and without it. So this is the best $4 I've ever spent. It's a hair bun. Uh, you could also use a sock if you can sew and sew both ends together to make a little loop like this. Put my fingers through it like this. I pull it over the ponytail and now I take my hair, I fan it all the way around and I try to make it even, but don't worry if you have some spots that aren't covering the bun. Then I take my next one and I like these elastics. This looks like the keychains you put on your wrist. So I take that and I pop it right over the bun maker and I grab and I pull up. Now at this point I take my hands and I just go around and make sure the bun is all covered with my hair. Next I take little pieces like this and I just pull out all the way around. This is what makes it look messy. And so I take all the hair around it and I pull it forward like this. And I'm gonna separate it into two different spots. So I pull one right here and one right here. I'm gonna take the hair and I'm going to separate the hair now. So I have one side and I separate it into two and I twist them over each other like this. And then I grab it and I pull each of the twists to make it bigger. And I take this piece right here and I'm gonna bring it around the front, covering up that clear elastic and I'm gonna take one of my bobby pins. I like to use the curved ones. And I'm gonna take the bobby pin and I'm going to put it in the back to hold that piece of hair in place. So now that's put on. Then I'm gonna do the exact same thing right here. I'm gonna separate this into two. I'm gonna twist it. And now I twist it the other way. And I pin it in the back. And now it's time to pull things out. So I just make it bigger. So I take each piece and I just kinda pull it apart, fix the bun, twist it up to make it more messy. And then I start to pull out the backs. Some people like bangs, other people don't. If you have pieces that are falling out, you can pin them up more. So I usually like to go like that and pull up my... Now I usually take the back strands. I put a little bobby pin in to hold them. That's how I do it and that's my messy bun. So now I'm gonna show you how to do it without the sock bun part or the the little foam bun. So I'm just gonna keep my hair in the ponytail because that part stays the same. The next part is some people, if you have thinner hair, you'll wanna tease it up. So I'm gonna take it and separate it into two. I'm going to take a little piece from this one and keep it down and a little piece from this side and keep it down. At this point, you could even take them and do a little alligator clip just to keep them together and out of the way. Now I'm gonna take what I have left, take each side and twist and pull out to make it look bigger. And I'm gonna do the same with this one. And then I'm going to flip them up top like this and I'm gonna tie it in a knot at the top. And then I'm gonna take the pieces and I'm gonna wrap them around. And then I'm going to pin it in place. The knot just helps to give a little bit more volume to the bun, make it look bigger especially if you have thin hair. All the twisting we did gives you something to kind of pull out. So there's that. Now I'm gonna go and take the alligator clip off. So now I'm gonna take the alligator clip and then I'm going to take those two sections I had and I'm going to twist those again. So twisting them. 
And then I'm gonna take and just pull out little strands to kind of fluff it up. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go around the front. And I'm gonna pin that in place now. And I'm gonna take my other one and do the exact same thing. And then pop that down too. Now is the time to fluff. So you gotta go around and find what needs to be tacked down where. And you just go around and pin until you have it kind of secure. Now I'm gonna go in the back and pull up some of the back flyaways because I don't really like too many. And then I'm gonna get this side up too. I like them a little tighter. You can go around and you can pull things looser. If you want this front piece that kind of goes around, you can pull it out a little bit. Sometimes people like it to be a little more messier. Some people want it a little more together. I'm gonna take this spot right here and I'm just gonna wrap it under so it's not kind of sticking at all crazy like. That's how I do it when I don't have one of those little buns to put it up with. And then just pull it out so it's a little more loose. All right, that looks good. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and you found it easy to follow. Uh, this is my first one and I'll try to do more. I wanted to do one on bubble braids, one on my space buns. If this is something you'd like to see more, go ahead and leave me a comment and kind of tell me what you'd like to see. If you want me to start a different channel and separate it from Keto too, that's fine. I can do more of these tutorials if you enjoy them.